Do you enjoy living in the countryside? Honestly speaking, I don't find it convenient to live in a rural province. As we all know, the resources there are very limited and outdated. For example, there are fewer choices of transport, unlike in the city. What do you usually do in the countryside? In rural provinces, I just spend a lot of time with my family and relatives. Since the entertainment facilities are limited, we often just talk with each other or have our meals together. Other than that, we do some indoor activities like mahjong. Will you live in the countryside in the future? From my view, I won't live in the countryside in the coming years. My initial plan is to become a software engineer, so I could work and live in more advanced cities like Shanghai and Guangzhou. If I live in the countryside, I might not be able to pursue my dreams. Have you ever lived in the countryside? If I'm not mistaken, I already had an experience in living in the countryside. It was three years ago when I visited my parents to celebrate the Spring Festival. I stayed there for at least one week, and I think life there is simple yet sufficient. What do you usually do in the countryside? When I go to the countryside, there are plenty of activities that I can do, such as fishing, hunting, hiking, and climbing trees. Among them, I especially love to go fishing with my friends. It gives me a sense of achievement, and we can cook the fish together. Will you live in the countryside in the future? I don't think I will live in the countryside in the future. Even if the countryside has the fresh air and the clean water,、um, I just cannot deny the attraction of the colorful life in the cities. Modern people just cannot live without the convenience brought by urbanization. Do you enjoy living in the countryside? I do, but only for a short period of time. If I stay in the rural area for longer than a week, I think I will freak out. Perhaps after studying or working intensively for a long time, it's a good idea to go to the countryside to let your hair down. But it's not always a good choice. Have you ever lived in the countryside? I have. When I was a child, my parents were busy working in the city. So they had no time to look after me. They put me to stay with my grandparents in the countryside, where I had a lot of wonderful memories. Okay, let's hear some responses on the topic of countryside. Do you enjoy living in the countryside? It's kind of a weird question. Do you enjoy living in the countryside? What if you live in the city? I mean, not everybody lives in the countryside. How does the examiner know whether you live in the countryside or not? Honestly speaking, I don't find it convenient to live in a rural province. As we all know, the resources there are very limited and outdated. Okay, describing the resources as limited and outdated—that's a good idea.、It、makes sense. And he goes on to give an example. For example, there are fewer choices of transport, unlike in the city. Oh, it's a little bit short. Uh, transport such as what are you talking about? Buses, I'm assuming. Why not talk about the buses, and how in the countryside there are only a few bus lines? City. What do you usually do in the countryside? In rural provinces. <laughs> Why does the countryside have to be rural provinces? <laughs> the countryside is just any place outside the city, isn't it? Why does it have to be a rural province? I just spend a lot of time with my family and relatives, since the entertainment facilities are limited. Okay, he's kind of relying on this limited a bit too much. He already talked about how the resources are limited, and、so、now the facilities are limited also. We often just talk with each other or have our meals together. Other than that, we do some indoor activities like mahjong. Okay, nice example there at the end. Will you live in the countryside in the future? From my view, I won't live in the country. Now this is kind of weird, isn't it? Because whether or not you live in the countryside in the future, 
is that an issue that has different aspects to it or that can be viewed from different perspectives? There's only one view because you are the one deciding whether or not you're going to live in the countryside. So to start this response with from my view it doesn't really make sense. I mean, if you're talking about whether or not Thai food is delicious, you could say from my view or from my point of view, <laughs> Thai food's great because people have different opinions on that. But whether or not you're going to live in the countryside, there are no different opinions on that issue. Countryside in the coming years. My initial plan is to become a software engineer so I could... Whoa, what's happening there? Let's change that in in more advanced cities. There we go. Yeah, so I could... Oh my goodness, let's try that again. <laughs> All right. So I could work and live in more advanced cities like Shanghai and Guangzhou. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything about the pronunciation of Guangzhou. I mean, I can't say it well either. <laughs> If I live in the countryside, I might not be able to pursue my dreams. Okay, logical, except for the start. I don't know why he chose that phrase in the beginning. Have you ever lived in the countryside? Yeah, this question makes more sense than that first question, right? If I'm not mistaken, I already had an experience in living in the countryside. How can you not be sure where you've lived before? <laughs> Unless you move around all the time, surely you know where you've lived. It was three years ago when I visited my parents to celebrate the Spring Festival. I stayed there for at least one week. All right, listen here. Staying somewhere for one week doesn't mean you live there. Staying somewhere for one place means you stay there. <laughs> Just like he says, stay. Staying and living are not the same. If you say you lived in the countryside for one week, you're showing the examiner you don't know the difference between stay and live. And I think life there is simple yet sufficient. Life there is simple, I understand that. Life there is sufficient. I don't know what that means. Maybe throw in an example to illustrate the sufficient part. What do you usually do in the countryside? What do you usually do? Uh, again, kind of a weird question, because what if you don't go to the countryside? When I go to the countryside, there are plenty of activities that I can do, such as fishing, hunting, hiking, and climbing trees. <laughs> climbing trees? <laughs> How many adults climb trees? Among them, I especially love to go fishing with my friends. It gives me a sense of achievement, and we can cook the fish together. <laughs> Okay, listen, the sense of achievement. 90% of candidates use the phrase sense of achievement. Think of something else to say. Because uh, you sound just like anyone else. So, I love to go fishing because, I don't know, it feels like I win the battle with the fish when I catch the fish or something similar. I don't know what kind of emotion you feel when you go fishing, but the sense of achievement is really overused. Would you live in the countryside in the future? I don't think I will live in the countryside in the future, even if the countryside has some fresh air and... Wait, hang on a second here. Even if the countryside has some fresh air... Yeah, he didn't say the, right? Let's get rid of that. Even if the countryside. Uh, now, I don't know if he means even though. Because the countryside does have fresh air. It's not, a con it's not a conditional. So even though the countryside has fresh air and clean water. Well, where does he live where there's no clean water? It has some fresh air and clean water. Um, I just cannot deny the attraction of the colorful life in the cities. Modern people just cannot live without the convenience brought by urbanization. Well, yeah, but he is approaching this question as though he is answering a part three question. This is meant to be personal and saying stuff like, 
modern people just can't live without the convenience brought by urbanization. Okay, but how does this relate to your life? Just remember, the question is, would you? So why not say, I just can't imagine living in the countryside because I really need all those daily conveniences that I find in places that are urban or something like that. Make it about yourself in part one. Do you enjoy living in countryside? Okay, it should be the. Again, this is a weird question because what if you don't live in the countryside? I do, but only for a short period of time. Okay, that is not living. <laughs> Again, that is staying. Staying. So you could say, no, not really, but I do enjoy staying there for short periods of time. That would be okay. If I stay in the rural area for longer than a week, I think I will freak out. Perhaps I. <laughs> well, you sound so calm when he says freak out. I think I'll freak out. If I mean, put some stress in the freak out part, if that's what you feel you're going to do. After studying or working intensively for a long time, it's a good idea to go to the countryside to let your hair down. Oh, that's a great phrase, right? To relax, to let your hair down. But it's not always a good choice. Why not? If you throw these things in at the end <laughs> and just leave them hanging, the examiner doesn't know what you're talking about. Why is it not always a good choice? Have you ever lived in the countryside? I have. When I was a child, my parents were busy working in the city. Okay. Notice the continuous here. So it was just for a period of time. It was temporary. So they had no time to look after me. Mm -hmm. They put me to stay with me. Nope. Not they put me to stay. They stay. They sent me to stay with my grandparents. Or. I mean, if you're sending someone to another place, we often say they send me off. They sent me off to stay with my grandparents. My grandparents in the countryside, where I had a lot of wonderful memories. Of what? Maybe a little example there would illustrate your point better.